Hi and welcome to the session. Today we will learn about minus and cofactors. First of all we will start with minus. Minor of an element A i j of a determinant is the determinant obtained by deleting its ith row and jth column in which the element a i j lies and minor of an element a i j is denoted by m i j for example if in the given determinant we want to find out the minor of the element a32 then for that we will delete the third row and the second column in which the element lies and thus m32 that is the minor of the element a32 will be the determinant obtained by deleting the third row and the second column so it will be a11 a13 a21 a23 now if the determinant is of order 3 then the minor of any element will be of order 2 that is 1 less than the order of the determinant that is 1 less than 3 now let's see what are cofactors cofactor of an element a i j denoted by a i j is defined as a i j is equal to minus 1 to the power i plus j into m i j where m i j is the minor of the element a i j so here the cofactor of the element a32 denoted as a32 will be given by minus 1 to the power 3 plus 2 into m 3 2 now we know how to find out the minors and cofactors of the elements of the given determinant so the value of this determinant will be if we expand it along r1 then it will be a11 into cofactor of the element a11 denoted by a11 plus a12 into the cofactor of the given element that is a12 plus element a13 into the cofactor of this element that is a13 which is equal to sum of the product of elements of r1 with their corresponding cofactors now you need to remember one thing that the sum of the product of elements of any row or column with the cofactors of any other row or column is zero now let's move on to our next topic that is adjoint 
and inverse of a matrix. So first of all, let's see what is a joint of a matrix. The joint of a square matrix is given by A i j of order n is defined as the transpose of the matrix given by A i j of order n by n where A i j is the cofactor of the element a i j the joint of a matrix is denoted by a joint of a for example for the given matrix a a joint of a will be given by transpose of the matrix of the cofactors of the given elements which will be this one and its transpose will be this matrix. Now suppose we are given a 2 by 2 matrix A and we want to find a joint of A. Then there is a shortcut method for this. What we will do is, we will interchange these two elements so we will get A22 over here and A11 over here and for these two elements we will change the signs. That is from plus to minus and from minus to plus. So here we already have plus. So this will be minus of A12 and minus of A21. So this will be the adjoint of matrix A. Now let's see some important results. First result is If A be any given square matrix of order N, then A into a joint of A is equal to a joint of A into A which is equal to Determinant of A into I, where I is the identity matrix. Of order N. Now before moving on to our next result, we need to know some important properties. That is, a square matrix A is said to be singular if determinant of A is equal to 0. Also, a square matrix A is said to be non-singular if determinant of A is not equal to 0. 
Now we will move on to our next result. That is result second. This states that if A and B are non-singular matrices of the same order, then A into B and B into A are also non-singular matrices of the same order. Now let's see third result. The determinant of the product of matrices is equal to product of their respective determinants. That is determinant of matrix A into B is equal to determinant of matrix A into determinant of matrix B where A and B are square matrices of the same order. Now, the fourth and the last result is a square matrix A is invertible if and only if A is non-singular matrix. Now let's take one example. Here we are given a matrix A and we need to find A inverse if it exists. So let's find out determinant of A. This will be equal to 14 which is not equal to 0. This means Matrix A is non-singular. Now, by the result 4, we know that a square matrix A is invertible if and only if A is non-singular matrix. So, this means matrix A is invertible or A inverse exists. Also, we have A inverse equal to 1 upon determinant of A into a joint of A. So, this will be equal to 1 upon 14 into a joint of A, that is 3 minus 4 to 2. In the same way, we can find out the inverse of a square matrix of order 3. With this, we finish this session. Hope you must have enjoyed it. Goodbye, take care and have a nice day.